In today's video, we will learn how to control a servo motor with a joystick, and that's coming up right after the intro. Hello world, my name is Asali, meaning basic in the language Hasa. Today we'll learn how to control a servo motor with a joystick with the use of an Arduino Uno. This is a continuation on the previous video where we learned how to read out the directions of a joystick with the use of an Arduino Uno, meaning we will need the code from that video. For that video, click the link in the upper right corner on screen now or in the description down below. If you look at the schematic, you can see that a few more wires have been added. Three for the servo motor and one extra to redirect the two 5 volt pins to the Arduino Uno. Once you have hooked up the joystick and servo motor to the Arduino Uno, let's head right into the code from the previous video. We'll start by deleting a major amount of the code since the servo motor only turns into one direction. So we'll be using the X pin only, so delete the other two declarations. Next up, we'll only be needing our X position and X previous, integer like so. Next up, let's delete the two unneeded pin modes inside our void setup. And immediately move on to our void loop to delete the other analog and digital read. And delete the X and Y map calculations as well. And next up, the last two if statements as well alongside our delay. And since we won't be needing our void print anymore, delete the void as well as here where we're calling the void. Let's start out, like always, with defining our servo motor pin. Check the schematic or your setup to know which pin. Next up, we'll be needing three extra integers. And again, onto our void setup, where we'll set the pin mode for our servo motor to output. Just after we've read out our X pin, let's do a small calculation to convert our 1023 range to 180 range for the servo motor like so. Now change the X map in the if statement to pause servo everywhere. Since we'll be controlling a servo motor, we will have to send out pulses to the servo motor through the use of PWM. We will create a separate void for this called servo pulse. And we'll call this void inside our if statement and we'll add an extra serial print containing the position of the servo that it has to go to. Inside this void, we'll start by getting our analog read from our pin which will immediately adjust to our angle for our servo motor. Now that we know the angle that we want our servo motor to be in, we can calculate the PWM signal that we have to send to our servo motor. This will be the slight time between sending out high and low digital writes. Now that we have our PWM calculation, let's do a high digital write to our servo motor. Now for our PWM signal to work, we have to wait a certain amount of delay in the microseconds and pass our calculated PWM time like so. And again, a digital write, but now we set our servo motor back to low. And to finish off, we'll add an extra delay of 15 milliseconds to allow the servo motor to refresh the cycle. Now if you run the program, and if you move the joystick to our left, you'll notice the servo motor will only move once, but if you repeat by moving our joystick a bit, the servo keeps getting updated towards the direction. To solve this, we create another void called turn servo that will handle the continuous, continuous update of the servo pulse until the destination is reached. And we add an integer as parameter called angle. Now inside our void to loop, we switch the servo pulse with turn servo, servo and pass along position servo as parameter. Back to our turn servo void, let's check on our angle whether it is smaller than our previous angle. If it is, we will run through a for loop which keeps calling the servo pulse void that is upped by 5 each loop. And else if, the other way around, we will run it in the other direction like so. And next up, we set our previous angle equal to our current angle outside our if statement. If we run now, you'll notice the servo motor will follow the angle we push our joystick towards to and immediately gets updated as soon as we switch to a different direction. Please consider checking out my Patreon page as well, that would be awesome. There I upload all of my code with the in-depth explanation of each video I ever created on this channel, just like this one. Link for that down below or on screen now. 
So that's it for today guys, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you won't miss out on the next video and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye world.